I don't have I, a secret I, crush in this locker room because every single the one of the girls in our locker room are brutally ugly and disgusting. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at her face. Seriously, is that not the epitome of the word busted? Seriously. Oh Want to say from the bottom of my heart that I have absolutely zero respect for you. Wow. Oh, okay. Brother. Lately, we think you've been a real jag off. I think the real Chris Jericho is an insecure, fickle, stupid idiot. I can stand here all night until you shut up if you'd like. I know the people of Milwaukee aren't very intelligent, so I'm gonna give you one more chance. A little decorum here, please, Milwaukee. Shut your damn mouth! I mean, you got losers like these people out here tweeting away like your opinion matters. All right, speaking of social media... No, I'm not done yet. And if you interrupt me again, I'll tear that little earring out of your head, you got me? You think I came back to help out the next generation? No, that's bullshit. I came back here to make a ton of money, and that's the only reason. I was only giving Jungle Boy's mom the chance to apologize to me. I think she was a little sweet on Christian Cage, if you know what I mean. I think she wanted me to be Jungle Boy's father. I never wanted to be your father figure. You have a father, but your father's dead. You're no more than a big, dumb bitch. Was it a good idea? Was it smart to Christian left a big money contract in the WWE to come to TNA? Don't ever touch me again or I will punch you in your freaking face. You must be an Austin Aries fan because you got no freaking brains. Now back to you. I've hated you from day one. You ungrateful son of a bitch. You are nothing without me. I think I, I need to ask you a question that's on everybody's mind. What the hell is going on with your hair? <laughs> if you want these people to hang on your every word, make sure you stand on your tippy toes so they can see your face over the top rope. <laughs> oh dear, here we go. I can take this and stick it right up with the sun, son. You piece of trash. You son of a bitch. I'll start with you, honey. I'll knock you right out of here. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to your wife. Sit down, nerd. History is going to repeat itself. You suck. You keep messing me. You're going to end up half dead on the floor of this arena once again. You got it? And don't forget, Jungle Boy's just had a yes. really match for 20 minutes. New York, you always make me smile. You're loud. You're obnoxious. So do me a favor. Sit down and do nothing like the bitches that you are while I conduct my business. Wow. Now, speaking of bitches, I only wish that your mom and your sister were sitting right there ringside and his ass right now for good. You see, everybody makes mistakes in life. Your mother and father made a mistake when they decided to have you. I watched them hire guys like Rhino. That's what I think of Rhino. Well, this is you, you two fat roly polies. This is what a champion looks like. And if I looked as bad as you guys did, I would have stayed in the backyard. And then they hire some guy from Canada called Christian. That arm, that's as big as your leg. Why TNA management wasn't calling me? Because they heard I had a bad attitude. Then I resented authority. And I had a bad problem with people. I've been arrested, I've been jailed, I've been put in lockdown and solitary confinement, and I apologize for nothing. And what exactly? Obviously. Christian Cage back in the impact zone. How about it, huh? I'm glad you finally climbed out of Matt Cardona's shadow and showed your face. Oh. See, I've beaten everybody. From Sting, to Goldberg, to Triple H, to Batista. I know there's some rednecks out in the crowd who are fat, just like you, Joe, who wants you them to be me. And they're trying to sell this DVD, this bogus DVD, called the best of small Joe, unstoppable. Well, this crap is unsellable. Your win streak ends tonight, 
I kill you. Win for Lee Johnson and Cody together here. Put our face. Malachi Black came into our life. He used me to get to you, but it's your fight. You finally get him hurt. What do you do? You roll out of the ring to see about me. To hell with me. Malachi Black is an assassin. He's a predator. I would step in and take the fight, but I'm just too damn old. Big differences between you and I, Cody. A man jerks your door open, says, out of the car. You say, take it. Wow. You know what I do? I pull out the Glock, put it on his forehead, <laughs> and spill his brains all over the concrete. And I'll be damned if I'm going to coach a loser. Come on with me, Lee. At least you listen to me. Very strong work. Gee, please, I'm I'm say, to stop. Yeah, don't get my bags. Get my bags. And you shine my shoes if I want you to. For a minute, baby, is that okay? You can get it. You can get my room number if you want, baby. You want to feel like it's gonna be a real man? Get out of our ring now. Step down, nerd. I'll tell you this, if we went to high school together, Orange, I'd chase you down the hall, kick your ass in front of the lockers, give you a wedgie, steal your milk money, and take your girlfriend. Since you guys want to ruin the history that I was deciding to make, this title is garbage. I make it something. The X Division, that's what this company was built on, correct? That means nothing also. Oh, God. Uh, tell your story walking, bitch. I'll take a Suck whole country, and you call Canada. I want to say something to Barack Obama right now. Stop building the wall to keep the Mexicans out. Build a wall to keep those from Canada from getting in. You see, Abyss, we know that you're a monster, but what we didn't know, what none of us realize, is that you don't have a set of balls. I didn't have flags, I didn't have like a huge party, champagne. I didn't have any of this garbage when I won that title, but you did. I need you to shut your mouth. That is cállate la boca in Spanish so the other ones can understand also. Are you guys even allowed to be here? I'm gonna beat your brother, I'm gonna beat your son up, but what I wanna make sure before I do it, I wanna make sure that we build a wall around you guys to make sure you guys stay where you belong. Ooh. Your dad hits harder than you, El Patron. Oh, wow. I can Come tell on. you that. that he's just you son of a bitch, you want some? Lashley, you wanna fight? Absolutely. Let's do it right here, right now. Bitch. How's everybody's father feeling today? <laughs> As ever, time after time after time. You can time. go ahead and say it, Tony. This title has never meant more than it does right now at this very minute. Uh, a lot of rumors abound about a good friend of yours, Adam Copeland. I only talk about myself <laughs> and Luchasaurus. And I have no friends other than Luchasaurus. And I'll leave it at that. And I think that no matter what title I hold it, immediately becomes the most prestigious title. In fact, we may end up calling this the TNT World Championship by the time I'm done with it. This is bigger than any WrestleMania. This is bigger than any Tokyo Dome. This is bigger than anything. And don't make me regret that I kept you from being in a wheelchair before you. He's getting heated. Oh, wow. Jericho Jericho. Just... I hear the, oh, the self-styled TNT champion. Darby Sting. Are you going to introduce me to your little friend? Nick Wayne, and I understand that you have a father, don't, don't and your ahead. father is dead. Christian. Well, I've never heard of your father, Buddy Wayne, before, so he must not have been very good. Is that because your father was such a talentless hack, you don't have a lot to live up to? Because I'd hate for you to have deja vu and watch that coffin door close on someone you love for the second time in your young life. Keep it down while I'm conducting business! I'll be there to mentor you when it's all over. There's no better mentor than the TNT champion. Most certainly has to be unsettling for Nick Wayne. Nick's still watching Nick the back. That's Nick, you're a fine boy. Finding out last week that your father used to be a professional wrestler, I decided to go back and watch a little bit of footage on him. And I feel like I owe you an apology. He was even worse than I thought he was. But listen. You're trying to look for a mentor, and you think that Darby Allen is that guy. If you want a true mentor, you should be looking at a champion. See you around, Nick. Say hi to your mom for me. Sting that 
could have happened to you is I come in this ring in a good mood. But when you call yourself genetic freak, you piss me off. Because there's only one genetic freak in professional wrestling, and you're looking at him. Matter of fact, ever since you've been sucking on your mama's genetic freak this idiot can't do nothing he can't perform simple tests clean my glasses clean my glasses bitch no, no, not, no. first i'm gonna kick that in the face secondly i'm gonna drink your champagne and i think you know what's gonna happen after that No, I don't suck. Skiavone sucks. Let me see Road Warriors, No Horsemen, The Outsiders, Lex Luger and Sting. How many names on that list do you think will be in the Hall of Fame? And you know what? We beat them all. What it comes down to is your legacy don't mean. And if all you truly want is what I've said all along, and that's a shot at becoming the World Heavyweight Champion, but at least, at least have the balls to say it to my face. Excuse me, uh, Jeff Jarrett. You didn't just call me Jeff Jarrett. Am I wearing white pants? Do I look like a complete ass to you? No, no. We're not going to use celebrity guest hosts every week on this show. It's the dumbest damn idea I've ever heard. Why don't you just stand there? And let your thyroid continue to spiral out of control and maybe you'll gain a few more fat cells while I'm talking to you. Since I've won this belt, I've had a lot of fans, a lot of loyal fans, a lot of supportive fans. You people, you can kiss my ass. And I'm sure I am not allowed to say his name. I thought that tactical vest was just covering up failed drug tests. So Cal Val for TNAWrestling.com, and I am backstage at the Impact Zone. Here we are again, Val. Beauty and the Beast. Thank you. What are you thanking me for? You're the Beast. You're nothing but a feeble woman, and if that's the best you could possibly do, we could, repla we could replace you with a male midget. And I'm going to do my very best to make sure that when I... Be Is that a tear? That's right. Hang your head like the shameful bitch you really are. Cage has been the focal point of Scott Steiner and Jeff Jarrett ever since they've Now, now Christian, everybody, everybody knows, knows I think I've made it clear when I talk to you, to I'm not, not a fan of wrestlers being seconds for other wrestlers. Man, win. The only thing I agree with is you, you called me Mr. Now, next week before I stick this size 12 so far up your ass, you're going to be flossing through my shoelaces. The other thing is, you're from that stinking country you call Canada. Are you, Are you even, even speaking English? Because I can't understand a damn word that you say. Man, you don't want to rock the boat, kid. I'm a real one of one. And if I went one on one with the great one, I would make him the late one. And I'll give meaning to the name The Rock when I make you the most famous tombstone in pro wrestling. You are suspended and without pay. So get the hell out of my ring. Let me tell you something, Brooke. You made your decision. So go live with it. Get the hell out of my ring, too. And I hate to burst this little bubble that you're living in right now, but you won't be the first rapping hip-hop poser whose ass I've kicked if this is going to get physical. Here's the news flash. Shut your mouth and sit down. These are my confidants here, the four closest men to me. This man right here, this giant MMA fighter in the world today. OK, hold on. We the people sucks and it's dead and buried. It was a stupid idea from bad creative and all that's gone. Last man standing. What kind of match is it? Last man standing. What do you think the key word is? Standing? No, man. Something you know nothing about. Jack, you must be from Boston. I mean, it's obvious. You're not very smart, and you think you're a tough guy. You're not as good as everybody said you were, Jack. 
Make sure your mom is cozied up ringside like she usually is at all the pay-per-views. Because just like your father, Don't fall you're all it. looks. I, get oh. Oh, look, look. I did not travel all the way to Salt Crap City just to have you take away my title shot. I'm going to take back my World Heavyweight Championship, and I'm sending you back home to your ugly wife and your three kids. There's not a god, because if there were a god, Ric Flair would have been dead 20 years ago. You can take Ric Flair as a partner if you want. I mean, he's one super kick away from his pacemaker kicking out and him turning into dust. Welcome to the NWA. Boys in the back certainly don't want you here. You are a leech, bully. You have not one friend in this company, not one friend in this business. Do us all a favor and go. But I got a bunch of friends here tonight. With... Anybody want to help me kick his ass? I'm surprised you even had the guts to come out here and say it to my face because you hide behind your Twitter like a coward. You waited all your life to get face to face with me. This is the most famous you've ever been in your career. Do yourself a favor, take 15 seconds, come up with something better. <laughs> Welcome to Major League Wrestling. Let me tell you something, Holiday. I was in this building before you were born. Relive your glory days here in Charlotte, North yeah, Carolina. You might, you might learn some wrestling. Whoa! Or maybe I could teach you a thing or two about style. But listen, Dad, the Hogan family. Hulk, I'm laying down right here on your desk. I'm comfortable. Man, this—I don't know how anybody can lay on this thing. Brooke, Brooke, how you do it? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's more comfortable on your stomach.